with negative, I guess with any emotion specifically, like, do you ever find that because you're in this feeling state, it almost causes you to be like, stay in that state where like, let's just say if you were in a negative state and you're painting something negative, like, does that pull you even further down? I think so. I'm very superstitious when it comes to art. I think there's a place for it to, if you use it for therapy, you can definitely like make something and let it go and move on. But I think if you're making something day to day, if you're constantly painting negative images and focusing on dark emotions, you're just going <laughs> to <laughs> amplify it. Uh, but I mean, some people disagree with that. That's just my personal opinion. So I believe in acknowledging our emotions and experiences, but I don't think for me, I'm very sensitive. So if I'm constantly thinking about something or looking at something, it's just going to perpetuate that. Yeah. It doesn't help you let it go. But I think journaling and like doing our therapy, like activities, whether you're just like collaging or sketching or writing it down and like to, to release it, I think that can be really helpful. Mm. There's like a place and time for it. For everything, yeah. But there's like, you know, there's theories about, you know, if you're into manifesting, like mm -hmm. if you, art is a powerful manifestation tool because you, literally take your vision and you put it and you make it even more real by putting it on like a sculpture or a canvas. So I think we have to be careful <laughs> what mm. we use our words. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. spelling is from the word spell. So when we say things or we make things, we want to be careful what, what it is we're putting out there. Yeah. That's so interesting. Spelling derives from the word spell. Casting a spell. <laughs> so with the manifestation, I saw that, um, some of your paintings were of messy rooms. Yeah. <laughs> when, was, you, when you paint <laughs> a, mess, a messy yeah. house. <laughs> when you when you paint a messy room, do you ever find that you, you go back to your house and it looks I like mean, that? I mean, totally. Because now I'm like, people want these messy rooms. I've got to keep my house messy. <laughs> <laughs> totally manifested a messy house for many years. Um, no, that was like, that was the previous work. I, re I recognize, <laughs> I recognize what I've done. But no, it was cool. I think for me, that was like, that was a way to heal in that situation, it was interesting because I was comparing myself a lot. I was like, oh, these cool people are grad school or they have like trust funds and uh, here I am, poor dear me. And I was just comparing myself a lot. And then I started to notice like interesting things in my life. And that was a way for me to like accept it. So I definitely think it perpetuated messiness for a while though. <laughs> but then I shifted to more um, controlled environments. <laughs> mm. But people still ask for those messy rooms. I'm like, I'm done with that life. <laughs> I can invest in someone to help me tidy up right? a little bit. Me too. Me too. I got a house cleaner every other week and it's the best money I can spend. It really is. Yes. Shout out to my cleaning girls. They're amazing. I, I started doing that about a year and a half ago and it was game changing for sure. Changes me a lot. I can't spend a whole day cleaning my own no, house. No, it's, it's so like, much. I will be so aggravated because I'm not even the best person to do it. <laughs> You know, I don't know. Do you yeah. guys get distracted if you try to clean where you see something interesting? Like, oh, where's this like book or sketchbook or magazine? And then like six hours go by and I'm like reading something and I forget you about. You forgot that you were <laughs> cleaning. Yeah. At one point. Yeah. Or I'll get like into funnels where I need to clean like one drawer and I get obsessive with it. That's why it's good to like have someone moderate my behavior. <laughs> <laughs>